Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the channel, and most importantly, welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. I wanted to first and foremost apologize for the lack of uploads. So, if you don't care about this, it's okay, you could skip ahead. Um, but uh, basically, for my Skyrim Draco Let's Play, uh, unfortunately, uh, the, my save got corrupted or broken, basically. I added a mod called House of the Dragon Standalone, and initially what it did is it added three, um, standalone dragons that were, that were, I guess, I guess scripted? I don't know. I, I don't know for certain because when I downloaded the mod, it didn't say it had any scripts or anything like that. So I had no assumption that it would break my game or prevent me from loading into the game, basically. Um, but basically it added like Drogon, Rhaegar, and Viserys, I think. Uh, I honestly can't remember the dragon's names, but basically it added three dragons essentially that were scripted to fly around Skyrim in a sp or, or in one specific area. Um, so I decided to remove them because I much prefer the vanilla dragons even though the, how the Game of Thrones dragons are really cool and I really like them. Plus I'm really excited for Skyros to come out because if you don't know there was an adaptation um, that was in the making unfortunately because the eighth season was absolute crap. Um, the mod author essentially abandoned the project altogether. Either way, uh, someone has taken the liberty of, you know, essentially making it, regardless, I'm getting off track here. Basically, um, I removed said mod uh, from my load order. Unfortunately, I lost all footage. I attempted to recover it, go back to where I was. I ended up making a fifth episode um, that allowed me to Basically, I managed to fix it, but then all of a sudden my save got corrupted, which was not fun, not ideal. Um, yeah, it was it was not fun. It was not ideal. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, um, I figured I would do some ESO quests and, and redo the Skyrim playthrough. I had a choice between Skyrim and ESO. I decided to go with ESO because... All I really have to do um, is Hold Harbor and the main quest, and then in terms of live streaming it, because I did mention that I'd live stream it, um, I would live stream the Daggerfall Covenant, and then I would live stream the Old Mary Dominion, and then I would go back to recording the series and maybe do, do, do a few things on the side, who knows? Haven't really decided yet. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, so look out for a revamp or redo of the entire Draco series. I know you guys have, uh, have really liked it so far. I really enjoyed making it. Unfortunately, Skyrim is just being weird. Um, so anyways, um, so that's pretty much in terms of announcements. So what we need to do is talk to King Lorian. L Lalorian, Laloriaran, Laloriaran Dinar, Laloriaran Dinar. I, you know what? I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. We need to talk to him, and then, um, and then. Basically, what we need to do is go over here and uh, essentially recover or uh, free Venice, essentially. I have barely set foot within these hallowed walls and I already feel a thousand times better. And now that you are here, we can determine our next move against the vile Molag Baal. Do you have a plan? I must take stock of our assets and resources. Determine just how much might we can bring to bear. Only then can I develop a strategy that shall allow us to win this war. Uh, but forgive me. I wanted to convey that you performed admirably at the tower. 
It is good to be back in this ancient city. I need to assess our strengths and weaknesses, determine how best to make our assault against Molag Baal. If we strike before we build up a sufficient force, however, I fear we shall lose this war. What do you suggest? The soldiers. The ones who call themselves the Fighters Guild. They seem strong and capable, at least at first glance. I shall speak to their leader at once. I'm not sure who's in charge of this force. No leader? Well, that is an unacceptable situation. I shall take command of this Fighter Guild force. It is the only logical solution. Talk to those within this building. After I consult with the groundskeeper, I shall join you inside. Your nagging is becoming more annoying than my persistent rash. We finally have a secure base. To go back outside without a plan is even too foolhardy for me. You want us to hide behind these walls? To leave our comrades to die while you sip wine and lounge about? You have no honor, Knight. Don't lecture me about honor, Elf. You have no idea what I've seen or what I've gone through. A moment, gentlemen. Postpone your exchange of harsh words long enough to acknowledge our visitor. Ah, uh, Darian Gautier. My apologies for that display. The whole rash comment. Just a figure of speech, of course. So, I suppose you know more about this place than any of us. Like where I can get a decent drink? The city is a safe ha ha haven, a place where we can regroup and organize. A safe haven, eh? I didn't really expect to see cheerful flowers and clear water anywhere in this dark realm. I assumed we were walking into untimely and painful deaths. Glad to see I was wrong this one time. How'd you end up here? I couldn't let you go off and save the world all by yourself, could I? Not with just these fighters guild braggarts. Besides, there was a portal. How could I not step through and see what was on the other side? Who's leading the group? That's a good question. I heard that Captain Alfari was killed shortly after we were scattered. I was hoping to find another officer here, but no such luck. Hmm. I rescued an Aelid King. He wants to help us symbol a force. An Aelid? I thought they were all, you know, dead. For the most part, of they course, are. this is a Daedric Prince's plane. I really need to stop being surprised by such revelations. I have a feeling that won't be the strangest thing I find out before this is all over. Attend me, soldiers. We have a war to win, and time grows short. What in Ariel's name is this? Who are you? So that's the last alien, huh? I thought he'd be more... dusty. Isn't that what happens when elves get really, really old? Shut it, you fop. Who's in charge of this group? Step forward and address me. Then allow me to rectify that. I shall lead you. We shall recover your comrades and complete your mission. If that does not work for you, your services are no longer needed. I don't know who you are, but you aren't Fighters Guild. You have no authority over us. Do you challenge me, then? Do you want me to kill you to prove my combat prowess to your companions? I wouldn't necessarily mind seeing that. He is kind of annoying. Hmm. How can you expect us to lay down our lives for someone we never met? Trust is earned on the battlefield. If you want to survive, if you want to win this, you must trust me. Allow me to explain why you need my leadership. We shall work this out. I understand your reservations. But with my leadership, the Fighters Guild will help us win this war. I do not expect this group to blindly trust me. That would be foolish. I plan to instill them with confidence so that when the others arrive, they will follow me without question. What's your plan, then? For now, I shall speak with each soldier here. Tell them what I think we should do and how we should do it. Perhaps listen to their opinions. 
To rush into battle with no allegiance is to command a unit that is already defeated. And what should we do exactly? Continue to amass our forces until we have enough troops. Then we meet in council and plan our attack. The chasm to the north protects Morlog Bar's inner sanctum. We must cross it and confront the prince if we hope to save Nern. Okay. Now, I... The pieces begin to fall into place. With the king's aid, we shall assemble a force worthy of Meridia's blessing. And when did these people arrive? Small groups have trickled in since your departure. The warriors inside seem to be under the protection of the knight Darian, an exceptional fellow. Brave to a fault and devoted to lost causes. Cadwell found them in the wilds. Well, the king certainly doesn't lack confidence. I can appreciate that. Might put our friend here in his place. That'd be delightful to see. What do you think about all this? I think there are a lot of good soldiers out there who need our help. I also know that if we just charge out there with no plan, we're as good as dead. I'm always eager to rescue a fair maiden or two, but not at the cost of everyone's life. All this bickering... The Feels good to be somewhere safe again. And that's the truth. Now I don't know if uh, if Osteran was misled, or if the king's vision was incorrect. Rainbow of light that she, rainbow of light that she is, the bright one sometimes sends signs and port and portents that are difficult to understand. But this what but this what he said. The Abogog the Abogarlands have a weapon, a powerful relic that will strip our souls from our bodies and fuel a nightmare storm of undeath. He called it the Mortum Vivicus. Apparently, our king has already begun plans to deal with the situation. But should the Lord of Brutality be allowed to make use of this? Interesting. Very interesting. Everything we saw. All right. But, uh, so now. Need to go out here. Go out here. You can come out and see in a moment. So, someone has come to help us at last. Are you talking to yourself? We're out here in the middle of Cold Harbor, and that's the best question you can come up with. I am most definitely not talking to myself. I am speaking to the alchemist. Be quiet, you mangy cat. I can't hear myself think with all that racket. I don't see anyone else here. Patience, sir. I'll explain everything. I am with the Mages Guild. We stepped through the portal and wound up in this vile laboratory. Daedra experimented on us. They merged our two souls. Now we're wasting away as this soul meld kills us. Maybe I can help? Ah, to see out of Khajiit eyes again. Oh, it's being caged in that dark place. You must be the alchemist. Yes. 
This one is pretty famous. Perhaps you have heard of Zer. But Zer must tell you, this soul meld is killing us. Will you help us? Will you unmeld our souls? What do you need me to do? Unmeld this soul to a world. Pardon. The Dwarven device that calls this is inside the laboratory. But Robo blocks the way. Collect Zer's notes and a bottle of pearl tincture. With those, this one can make a potion that will get you past the rubble. I'll find your notes and and the tincture, but I have a few questions. Questions are good. Ask and ask again. That is the systematic method of experimentation. Remember that you must know the rules before you can successfully break them. What kind of potion will get me past the rubble? Their specialty is transmutation. Change one thing into another. So, not too difficult to change you from large to small. Then you can slip past the obstacles that block the entrance. Zer never said it would be easy, Dark Elf. Mind your tongue. <laughs> Can't you just teleport me inside? Unfortunately, no. The soul melt weakens us, and we must conserve our strength. With the recipe and the ingredients, this one can make a transmutation potion and exert almost no energy whatsoever. A much better approach at this time, yes? Were you part of the expedition to Cold Harbor? Oh, yes. We came to defeat the evil Moloch Ball. Or was it uh, Menemarco? Zer forgets. So many bad things start with the letter M. But something went wrong and godless, and this one ended up here. That's when the Daedra melted our souls. You have no idea what it feels like to have a Khajiit scratching around inside your head. Did your notes and supplies get scattered? I know you said you were sorry, but the question has been asked. One of us is disorganized and enjoys experimenting with dwarfen machinery. The resulting explosion reduced the entryway to a pile of rubble and sent our supplies in all directions. Safe enough. We'll make our way to the entryway. We can manage a simple illusion to mask our presence. I wish we weren't so weak, however. I, ne I never realized how my ability to perform magic defined me. Now that I cannot do the things that once came so easily to me, I almost don't know who I am. Having a talking cat inside my head doesn't help much either. What happened to the other mages? A few of us arrived together, but only the alchemist and I survived the experiments. Zer's explosion had one desirable side effect. It destroyed our Dremora captors. We have information vital to the mages' guild. Should we escape this predicament? Okay. Thanks, thanks, uh, uh, asshole, for putting an invisible wall there. You're amazing. used an illusion spell. 
very little effort. It is good to be out and about. Ah, Cold Harbor is an inhospitable place, but this one is adaptable. What are you doing here? Zer thought this was where he left the tincture, so I came to investigate. Don't tell Gadras that Zer was here. A simple illusion spell protected me, but Godrish gets worried. Me? I like to explore. It must be strange sharing a, your body with someone else. This one has always enjoyed trying new and different things. But this situation, it is very strange, very awkward. Is that thought me, sir? Or me, Godris? This one can never be certain where his thoughts end, and Godris's begin. Very confusing, yes? Hmm. Zar told you our friend would find us, Gadris. You worry too much. Gadris is upset because we had to hide behind some rocks. Undignified, he said. Well, Zar says that being eaten by a deformed creature is even more undignified. Mm -hmm. I have the things you asked for. Quiet, Gadris. This one knows what he's doing. This is most fragrant work, my friend. Most fragrant. Zar shall draft the potion immediately. It should make you slightly smaller. Certainly small enough to squeeze through the rubble. Hmm. How long will, will I remain small? Uh, long enough to slip into the laboratory. A few minutes, uh, give or take. Now, let Zar think. Was it uh, six or seven drops of tincture? I hope you know what you're doing. Zer uh, thinks he saw some dried skate grow over here. Ah, yes, here it is. Ah, Zer's finest potion yet. You will drink it now, yes? This grows more tech. Here is the potion. I hope Zer didn't cut any corners, but knowing him, it probably tastes terrible. So this potion that... Uh... This is the potion that will make me small. Yes, sir. I'll be sure to mention it. I am not a mixer of potions, and I don't want to debate the merits of alchemy with Zer again. But the cat knows what he's doing. Inside, look for my notebook. It lists what you need to craft the antipodal rods. Antipodal what? Rods that will reverse the soul meld. Just find the components and craft the rods. We will try to recuperate and regain enough strength to teleport ourselves inside. If you have questions, please ask them before you drink the potion. Tell me what do we need what, what what I need to do once I get inside. Find the metallurgy workshop. My notebook should be there, placed neatly on a workbench. It contains a list of what you need to create the antipodal rods. Gather the items and craft the rods. It shouldn't be a problem. The laboratory has a forge. Just follow the directions and apply the proper catalyst. The rods should be able to withstand the reversal process. After you forge the rods, meet me by the overseer's atelier. Oh, very well. Zer reminds me the time is short, so I will try to be brief. The rods form two opposing forces that should create a negative energy vortex. In theory, the vortex will unlink the strands that bind our souls and set us free. The potion will work.
Hello. <clears throat> I knew Malachite would not <clears throat> I knew Malachite would not have the conduct the conductivity required for this process. We pursued yet another futile path, but Zur was insistent. We will keep at, at it. I do wish Zur would make the time to organize and collect his notes, though. Through the process of elimination and trial and error, trial on my part, error when Zaz is in control, I think we finally made a breakthrough. I believe that the following items will result in an and type and tip tip it upon rods that will conduct the currents of magicka required to reserve the soul melt meld while we withstand the forces forces of the negative vortex ebony ore crystalline essence matrix the silicate structure of this gem will incorporate will be incorporated to di to diverse the negative energy Refined void salts. Do not, under any circumstances, use unrefined salts. Okay. These base components require an alchemical catalyst to properly mer merge their properties when superheated. When thin within the forge, I will do further research as this uh, as to a suitable catalyst, and I will pray to my ancestors, the tribunal and the tribunal that this is something we can find within the vile laboratory, okay? Or... Hello, asshole. Oh my goodness. Got the Emony Ore. Now I just got to find. I just oh okay out of the way get out of the way fucking words i despair of ever finding a solution to the catalyst problem even Zer, there's unusual unfounded optimism cannot seem to lift my spirits i have gone over all possible candidates for a catalyst to ignite the process to forge the antipodable pods the only substance that we might have access to is the corrupted blood of a feral creature. We examined a dead creature and Zer tried to transform its blood, but his alchemical process was flawed. Our Drager captors, however, apparently had more success in this area. Samples of corrupted blood are stored in the experiment chamber, where they are guarded by a monster, the Daedra, created using this very same blood now you comp now you comprehend my despair if i had enough strength to access my full power i could easily subdue the monster and we could, could take as many vials and of corrupted blood as we could carry and it is we as it is we barely have the energy to cast simple illusions and even these fail more often than not. 
There is no way we could survive an encounter with the Chamber's Guardians. Zerf firmly holds to the hope that someone will find us, but I suspect that our mages guild companions are busy dealing with their own problems. I fear this mission has already ended in failure and that we are doomed to succumb to the soul meld, but I shall not dash Zer's hope. I, as, ignore, as disorganized as he can be, I find some small comfort in his blind faith. Oh, hello. It is basically, um, a flesh action. Okay. energy on a apprentice level illusions I grow ever more weary even Zer's enthusiasm is ebbing I've got the corrupted blood I'm afraid to hope too much but you've made such progress perhaps we shall end this torment after all the constructs have moved off the forge area is clear at least for the moment what do I need to do with the forge Melt the components in the furnace, then craft two rods from the mixture. There is an anvil near the furnace. Be careful, though. The mixture can be volatile. The machine that merged us is further on in the Overseer's Atelier. We'll meet there. That's not good. I can't remember what I did for this one. Teleportation was never this difficult before. The spell took so much out of me, I was afraid we would never materialize. But Zer has the key to this room. He acquired it shortly after we'd got here. Were you able to craft the antipodal rods? We are so close. You need to use the rods to activate the dwarven device 
that performed the soul meld. Oh, and the crystal. I'm getting as careless as Zer. Uh, look for a glowing crystal. The overseer placed it in the machine to power the device. It's the crystal and insert the rods. Got it. This will separate the two of you? Ah, uh, well, in a manner of speaking, understand that Zer and I do not have two separate bodies to return to. But if this works, the soul meld won't kill the both of us. So what happens here? The magic will separate the intertwined strands of our souls, but only one of us will survive the process. Do not be dismayed. We rejoice at a chance for one of us to survive. Go on ahead. We will meet you inside momentarily. Stop shouting, Zer. What? Oh, yes, of course. No, you're right. Zer reminds me that you have been most helpful and we need to rest anyway. So I decided not to cut you off with a snide retort. Please accept my... Based on our own experience, it appears that merging two souls into one vessel causes an internal storm as the souls vie for control. It takes all of our mental fortitude to maintain our individual personalities. Then nature takes its course but at least we will have tried to beat this. At least one of us has a chance to survive, and know that if the device works the way I expect, then the person operating it will decide which of our souls survives the reversal process, and which is discarded. I guess it will be up to you to choose who lives. Well, I could make a strong case as to why I should be the one to survive. My qualifications, my experience, my worth to the Mage's Guild, but the truth is, I have grown fond of Zer. My right to survive is no greater than his. The Overseer's in there. He put us into this Dwarven machine. He's dead. Do not worry. This one is not afraid. The process can be reversed. Our research tells us this. Zer is optimistic. And if I die, then it is just on to another adventure, yes? We are very different. Zer has learned much sharing a dark elf's mind. Few Kashit experience such a wonder, yes? Godress will do many great things, provided the unmelding works. And so will Zer. But this one would never choose himself over another. Will the reversal work? Some theoretical extrapolations of what Godris excels at, and this one's experiments support his research. We believe the device can be forced to unmeld our souls. In any event, we won't survive the soul meld. At the very least, we must try. Anything I need to know? I, I need to know before about the next room. What's that? Yes, Zer will pass that along. No, quiet, please. The Overseer's in there. He put us into this Dwarven machine. He's dangerous. Many of the constructs that roam this place are under his control. Godress recommends killing him quickly. Okay. would last long enough did. to make it across the chamber. But it did.
This one can't believe you crossed this chamber without so much as an illusion to mask your presence. You are so brave. This one, those whiskers were twitching inside the Dark Elf's head. What do I do next? Next comes the exciting part. You test our theory. See those two pillars? One represents Zer, the other Gadris. Insert the antipodal rods and turn on the device. If it works, you should be able to separate our melted souls. But, all, but I can only restore one of you. Yes. As we have explained, one body, one soul. At least one of us will survive to help the mages guild. This one knows you will make the right decision. Place the crystal into the machine. Then insert an antipodal rod into each pillar to start the unmelting process. So his experience versus the alchemist. Hmm. It's kind of tough. Um, all right. As much as I like the Khajiit, to be fair, I... Uh, Okay, you know what? Um, okay, so I think the, because honestly, the Dark Elf did help, like, they both helped me. Um, I don't know, I think it, it would be fun to have an alchemist in, in, in this fight, because I don't know if, I thought, I thought, I think I always chose the Dark Elf. At least, Zer thinks it is true. This one feels strangely empty. This one is there again. But, thanks to my time with Godris, this one is also different. What will you do now? Zer wants very much to leave this place. In the bad memories, the door is nearby. It will open from this side. Meet us, uh, me, outside. My abilities grow stronger already. This one can create a portal to somewhere safe once we are outside. Zer's mind feels empty, silent. I miss Godris already. You mentioned information for the Mages Guild earlier. During our time together, 
we determined that the Dwarven device operates on the same principles as Moloch Bar's plane mare. Zor will honor the Dark Elves' memory and give him credit for this discovery. Thank you again for saving us, my friend. This one is strong enough to open a portal now. We shall go to this hollow city Zor has heard so much about. The portal shall remain open for only a few minutes, my friend. Zer hopes to see you again in the Hollow City. Alright, so I can't even access it. You know what? Hopefully I didn't make the wrong decision by freeing, by, by freeing Zer. Oh well. The best part about, wait, am I going the right way? No, I'm not. The best part about ESO is that it's always good to have at least some, you know, surprises. Ow. This one and his beloved mate sought shelter, but there was none to be found. Urnabi, she didn't make it. Now I lack the will to go on. Our children will grow up without parents. They will be poor and destitute, and probably die young and alone. How did you end up here? This one and his mate. We lost our way one night. We followed a light in the forest, and wound up in this depressing place. We we were attacked by Nilokilo and his monsters as soon as we set foot in the cave. This one and poor Ernabi fought our way. This one's beloved Ernabi were. Hmm. I arrived with a few other wizards. I arrived with a few other wizards, conjuration masters. We helped open the portal to Cold Harbor. Unfortunately, we didn't arrive where we expected. A defensive countermeasure, I think. Molag Bar's forces were upon us in an instant. Where are the others? They were captured by Daedra, led by Judge Zivan. In the confusion, I managed to slip away. I've been scouting around in scamp form ever since. The mages are on trial inside the Hall of Judgment. I could hear Judge Zivan shouting at them. We must help them. Help? I'll help. Where do we start? 
A magical barrier shields the entryway to the hall. It's powered by elemental crystals. We must destroy the crystals and collect a key to open the gate. You must hurry. Daedric justice can be swift. Take care of it. Collect the gate key from the coffer to the north and destroy the three... Judge Zivan has them on trial in the Hall of Judgment. From what I've been able to overhear, it isn't going well for them. To get inside, we need to bring down that barrier. Then the mages and I can get back to the mission that brought us here. The three elemental crystals.
trial is over. Judge Zivan found my companions guilty and sentenced them to death. They were taken to the cells below the hall while preparations are made for the execution. I'm working on a distraction to cover our escape. Did you find the key? Yes. An excellent suggestion. There's no time to waste. Let's get inside and free the others. I don't even remember what I said. Oh, good. A guard. And I thought this was going to be boring. Come and judge me. Excellent. Head down to the holding cells and free my companions. I'll guard our way out of here. You're no guard. Grab that key on the table and open these cages. I still can't believe they sentenced me to death, of all the nerve. Thank you. This one thought we were done for after Judge Zivin sentenced us to death. How do we get out of the Hall of Judgment? Malkur? Well, why didn't you say so? Tarami wondered what happened to him. But this one has had... Wrapped. Cause we'll deal with the game. Just keep them away from us until we're done. You have been judged. You won't escape. You'll never escape my judgment, mortals. myself. Found wanting, Sivan. Enough fun and games. Let's get out of here. The diversion I set up is working. Hurry before the Daedra notice and come after us. We fought well, didn't we? I think we might just have a chance at turning this disaster into a successful operation. 
You can make it to the Hollow City from here. We've opened a portal to the city. Feel free to use it if you want. We're in your debt. Without your help, the others would still be locked away, or worse. We'll get to safety and begin stabilizing the portals to Nern right away. All right. Let's head. We've got the portals to stabilize. of trophies, huh?
Your troops ah, grow weak, another darling. Another mortal The worm cult by. isn't what it once was, and this mage isn't going to change that. You throw peasants Why out. have you wandered into the cliffs of failure, mortal? Are you curious as to what you must face here? Do you wonder why we haven't destroyed you? Or why these mages are bound before us? I have answers, of course, if you are willing to listen. I'll listen. The three standing beside me have either failed the Lord of Schemes in life or become bound to him in death. Redemption calls to each of them but to win back the Dark Lord's favor, they must first win my game. And no one has ever won my game. And why are the mages here? Why, these mages have joined the game. Sides have been drawn and tasks assigned. First, they each must perform a small deed for their new masters. If they survive that, then the fun begins. They Let can them go start. now. You are so nicely, but no. Once you begin the game, only victory or defeat can set you free. You, however, shall add an element of surprise and excitement to the game. Will you rush bravely in? I appreciate your spirit, but save it for the game. I have been master of this game for thousands of years. Many have tried to defeat me, all have fallen. I confess that the game has begun to bore me. Where is the challenge? I'm not like the others you faced. How true. So you can understand my excitement. You have come here of your own accord. You seek to defend the mages so unprecedented. Still, to participate you must choose a side. There are no wild cards in this game. My master hates when his servants fail him. It breaks his heart. But he will forgive if they can prove they still have something to offer. Take these three, failures, every one. But my master offers a chance. He allows them to compete in my game. And how do they win this game? The rules are simple. These three cannot participate in the game directly. They must use pawns to fight for them. In this case, the mages. If a chosen champion falls, so too falls the corresponding leader, and redemption slips from their grasp. And what's my role in all this? You get to compete as well. Join a team and lead it to victory. Do this, and you can claim the prize that has thus far been unattainable. Freedom. They are in the game now, below us. That portal will take you to the- right. You have no idea what you just walked into. You should never have come here. Ah, a new recruit. Splendid. I have a good feeling about you. Yes, I really do. Together, I'm sure we can win this contest. Okay. So I chose him last time. I know that for certain. So I'm going to choose Angolf the Undying. Because I want to. Because I don't like anybody else. I don't like the High Elf. I don't like the whatevers. So sorry, Julian. I do this because I must. One of us has to make it out of here and get back to our mission. Why, my dear You... You came with us to stop Molag Ball, didn't you? I'm sorry you got caught up in this stupid game, too. Well, take my life. Finish me. I refuse to participate in this travesty. I'm not here to kill you. Here to help you. Really? Well, your timing is terrible. Couldn't you have shown up before we started killing each other? Oh, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. I'm just frustrated in myself. And a little in pain. 
Can you believe Mim stabbed? Mim talked about a plan to get us out of this. Said we just needed to play along. But as soon as we got down here, the Dark Elf fled and the cat stabbed me. Said everything would be all right. Never trust a cat. What task were you given? Angoff selected me. The bastard who tried to destroy Glenumbra picks the Breton of all the arrogance and gall. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter now. He gave me these strange seeds. Said they'd help if I planted them. Angoff told me to plant the seeds in the corpses of the fallen. He seemed desperate, but there was also a kind of compassion in his eyes. Here, take them. I don't want them. You can perform this task. Maybe that will... need Why are you attacking me, fag? Cool. from Mim. Don't... don't make this one hurt you. Mim will win this game. Mim will beat everyone and get us out of here. All of us. I'm down. I'm here to help. Help? You can't help. We're stuck here, fighting to the death. No one gets out alive. That's just how the game works. Mim will kill them all, even the Observer. Then he'll have to let us out. Help? Just like this one's new master, Tholik, has helped. He tossed me in this pit, gave me this rune and wished me luck. He said it harnessed the power of the dead. Tholik said to look for them. This woman will live. I have made sure of that. She is too valuable to lose so early in the contest. You may have accomplished her task, but I know she will help me in the end. For this reason, her life is not forfeit. It almost sounds like you care. Do not attempt to know my heart, mortal. Julian is pure. Unlike the rest of my army, she is not tainted by corruption. 
I need one such as her if I am to win this war. Serve the Lord of Schemes? Never again, mortal. I fight this battle to live, to reverse what I've become. This magic that made me like this hides in this realm. As does the magic to restore me. Want to be mortal? I want to become whole again. That's why I play this ridiculous game. Now leave me. The seeds have increased my forces and given me the numbers I need to win this war. That's all I required of you. Yeah, but she can't help. <laughs> I'm the only one that can help. So, you ended up with my rune. Interesting. You're either working with the cat or you killed him. I'd prefer the latter, of course, but perhaps that's just me. Still, there's a way for everyone to win today. What are you talking about? The rune you carry is more powerful than you can imagine. If the cat knew its true potential, you would never have given it up. The power of the dead flows through the rune. Necromancy, some call it. But the rune serves another purpose as well. What other purpose? It transforms you into an agent of destruction. Every creature you slay strengthens the rune. Not even the Observer can stand against the power of the fully charged Death Rune. I know you hate me. It's mutual. But we need each other now. Why should I trust you? How can you not? I can't participate directly in this game. But you won't need to worry about my interference if you help me. With the power of the Death Rune, you can free us all. For now, you simply need to charge it, transform yourself, and kill. Death lingers up, then our journey. this nightmare one step and it would all be over no more worries no more unpleasant options I wouldn't have to hurt anyone just one single step don't do anything rash I'm here to help help no one can help us we're already dead lost forgotten more playthings for Molag Baal we can't I couldn't even hold on to the one thing I needed to survive. It's useless. The shadow. The one Lady Estri gave me. She said it would protect me. But when I refused to fight to aid the shadow, it claimed I was unworthy. It said I wasn't fit to own such a fine shadow. And then my own... Yeah, I'll find the shadow for you. Dun 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 dun. Peering out from cold, cold eyes. But what does this mean? Only the Shadow Court can glean. 
choose wisely. Realmus would not fiddle, and my loyalty must be bought with both rhyme and riddle. The Dark Elf is weak, and I refuse to be meek, so someone stronger I seek. Is it you, I must ask, for this one simple task? Find my lovely lady's carnival mask. A mask of beauty and style, it gives my lady powers of shadow and guile. It broke and fell at a party so swell, and now neither of us knows where it does dwell. So to this place I'm sent to seek, to repent, and to find where that, when the job is done, we can resume the fun with the Dark Elf safe and unspoken. But finding the mask is no easy task, for its pieces are scattered and broken. I know the locations, I know your motivations, so listen well with great expectations. Three pieces to find, each of a kind. The first below the rock bridge where the spiky vines live. The second one stays near where the river meets my gaze. And the third piece sits by the frozen giant's bits. So now we are intertwined. Find the broken mask I seek or your... You see my court jester? Isn't he handsome? In life I knew him and other members of the Shadow Court. We worked together on more than one occasion. Doesn't he dance like a Daedra? Oh, but you must be wondering why I'm here to greet you. The question has crossed my mind. What? Can't you read my mind? I tease, I tease. No. I came to thank you for the service you provided me. A service I didn't even ask you to do. The Dark Elf here. Such a poor fellow. The things he considered doing to himself. Very sad. What do you really want? Direct and to the point. I can appreciate that. We have so much in common, you and I. I wanted you to know that you are exceeding the Observer's expectations. He thought you'd be dead by now. He certainly didn't expect you to run and save everyone. Why does what I do matter to the Observer? Because you need to decide soon. The Observer won't let you play the game much longer if you don't select a side. I invite you to join my team. We'd be perfect together. It makes perfect sense. That's why I'm so glad I thought of it. No. Make a mockery of my game, mortal. By all calculations, the mages should be dead by now. But no, they still live. I must say, however, that my game hasn't been this exciting in a long time. So I grant you the ultimate boon. The right to choose. And what would I be deciding on? You must pick a side in the game. There is no other option. The rules are built into the very fabric of this domain. The only way to save your mages is to follow the rules and win the game. Now, so you believe, you must win the war first. Now, who will you choose? Angoff of the Rich, Thalic of the Worm Cult, or Kid Lady Estri, the former Ultima Princess? You may speak to them once more before you make your decision. Um, I'm choosing Ingolf. 
Angoth the Undying grows weaker. He doubts the choices he's made. Regret overwhelms him and pushes him to desperate measures. So you have chosen. You have chosen a side. Now, never! Sounds simple enough, I guess. We make many decisions in life that we truly believe are correct when we make them. This body, for example. It was a gift from the Lord of this realm. He said it would grant me the power to topple the corruption of Glenombra. He lied. I'm only here to save the Mages Guild members. Mages Guild members. Look around, you fool. Would you open the cage of one prison simply to release them into another? This whole realm is a prison. No. There is no way to save your mages. We are all... The magic that created this body resides in this land. If I can win this game and escape these cliffs of failure, I hope to find its source. Help me win, and you can take Julian with you. They simply seek a way to end this madness. How do we win the game? Talik and Estri's champions must fall. Use my seeds. Plant them in the bodies of those you slay to gain new allies to aid you. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. Do this to us. That's not good. You beat one of the champions. Impressive. Now the game is finally getting interesting.
selected someone other than my master. I'll try to make your death as painless as possible. Move now! Guard! And so the last champion falls. Interesting. Find me at the entrance to my watch to receive your reward. I don't trust you. And I never and I never will. Whoa! Oh, oh, well. <laughs> well, that's kind of sucks. Oh well. I figured that would happen. <laughs> I figured that uh that little uh, mishap and shit. There you are. I've been looking for you. What in the eight is going on? There was an awful commotion, and then Angoff disappeared. I defeated the other champions. Really? I knew you could do it. Well, I mean, I didn't actually know you could do it, but I had a good feeling about you. Did you see the others? Well, I have to find them. We got into this together, and we're going to get out of here the same way. Oh, the reward. I'm pretty sure you don't want any part of whatever the Observer is offering. Just be careful up there, you hear me? I have a bad feeling about this. I know. Impressive. Most impressive. No one in the history of my games has ever defeated two champions. But now... You must face one more challenge. Defeat my guardians and reach the portal to claim your reward. You will die. Prepare talking. You talk too much. This contest is between your betters, mage. Off with you. I grow weary of your interference. Annoying mage. Away with you. Positively exciting. You have won the game that could not be won. You defied the look. Confounding, isn't it? Such. You won fair and square. So you may select one companion. Who will it be then? Yeah. I'm taking them all. What? How dare you threaten me? You are lucky that I even gave you a reward at all. The balance. The balance. I the unmitigated. How dare! Fine. Take them all and do not return. My master will be angry, but not as enraged as he would be if the game was permanently disrupted. Now, be gone with you. I had friends and allies once. Companions who would never abandon me, no matter the cost. But that was before. Before I became this monster. Enough! I must find the magic to restore my human form. There's a safe haven to the west, the Hollow City. I have heard rumors of such a place. We shall go there at once. And have no fear, I will make sure that your friends arrive safely. Perhaps the city will provide me more clues. As to the magic I seek. Look at that. 
Alright. Places is everyone. This should be the right spot. Hello. Stand back, beast, lest I slay you in no uncertain terms. Oh, it's you. Taking a stroll then, enjoying the beautiful countryside? I'm trying to rescue people. And you're doing a smashing job of it. Jolly good. Wait a moment. Did you go through that portal? Did you, did you meet the Observer? I did. Jolly good. I've always wanted to play the Observer's game, but now that you've done it, I suppose there's no point, is there? I'm sure I'll find some other quest to occupy my time. So, where were we? Um, why did I come here again? To lead the people I rescued back to the city. Brilliant! Just great! Truly! I, I wish I'd thought of it. <laughs> Off with you, then. I'll make sure everyone arrives safe and relatively sound in the Hollow City. Alright. Dun, 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 dun. All right, now I have to. Where am I going? Oh shit! It's like having unlimited stamina. Sprint for days. Oh, that's Hello a ghost there. herder. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I don't think I'm a part of that guild, so I don't really think I can do that, so. First. Um. Hello. This one and his beloved mate sought shelter. Did you run into the Dremora? This one's beloved Ernabi dropped it while we ran from the Dremora. Oh, here. Um. This one. Oh, great. It's a Frogger tomb. How fucking fun is this? What is this place? Hello? I don't think I've ever been here. Well, you know what? I don't really care. I'm just here for the owl. Just here for the. I'm just here for this. Get away from me. Kindly fuck. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck off. I'm gonna die! Shit! There we go. There's absolute garbage anyways.
Blade Master, huh? Okay, again, not one skill point. I vaguely remember this. <clears throat> My dearest love, writing these wor words instead of talking to you in person is the act of a weak man. A coward. What I shall do after I finish this letter is even more cowardly. I am giving up. I am leaving ever full flagon. I fought the pole of the strange enchantment as much as I could. When I was sober, I worked to discover a cure, or at least the source of, a ter of our terrible affliction. I wanted to defeat this thing, to see your eyes brighten and your mind clear once, once and for all. My heart aches for you, watching you struggle, watching you fight the allure of the mead as I read and research. As I read and researched, we may be close to solving this, but I can't go on. It is a weariness of spirit. It is just a weakness. Is it a weariness of... Uh, oh, wait. I just misspoke there. Is it a weariness of spirit? Is it just a weakness? A character flaw that I cannot overcome. I don't know the answer. I only know that I want to run to try and get free of this place and its in insidious spell. I do this knowing that I'm le leaving you alone, that my soul is lost. Always remember, dear one, that you are forever in my heart. Remember our love and find a way to make your own escape from the tavern. And please, try to forgive me if you can. I think I vaguely remember this quest. I guess I'm not the only, well, only one doing this quest. A new face. That's a rare occurrence. Welcome to the ever full flagon, friend. Do you know Gamreth? Gamreth? On his bot bot body in this love, love letter he wrote. The ever full flagon has the finest mead. Don't drink the mead. Gamreth is dead. He was my daughter Nell Hilda's mate. Her true love. I suspect the contents of that letter will break her heart. If she's sober. What did you say about the meat? You must try our special blend. Do you like to celebrate? Everyone here is always celebrating something. Nelhilda and Gamerth were working to find a way to end this madness. Go upstairs and talk to Nelhilda. She has a plan. Yes, indeed. Everything is fine here at the flagon. Plenty of mead. Plenty of... Can you have another mead? Of course you can. Very well. Ask what you will. But be quick about it. We don't want to attract... I'm trying not to arouse any suspicion. The Thane is always watching, listening. We must put on a good show. The celebrating has been going on for a long, long time. Who would have thought that an endless supply of mead could become such a curse? The mead's in here, so no, not many. Besides, those creatures out there aren't very friendly, and some of them were once our friends and neighbors. One day, though, Gamerth had had enough. Even his love for my daughter couldn't keep him here. Haven't you ever seen the results of a Daedric bargain before? Now please, go up. I'm trying not... not one of the regulars here at the flagon. I can do this. I can resist the mead for my gamerth. Father sent you. Good. I can use the help. The mead is enchanted. It muddles our minds and clouds our memories. But I may have found a way to purify the mead and stop the cravings it inspires. What can I do? I need a rare magical flower, Kind's Tear, to make a potion. Unfortunately, the flowers are invisible. 
You need a kind runestone to see them. There may be a runestone at the nearby abandoned shrine. On this letter, I think it's for you. I knew Gamurth was gone, but this makes it so much more final. He worked so tirelessly to find a way to end this enchantment. I'm determined to finish what we started. Gamurth believed it had something to do with a Daedric prince and a bad bargain. If that's true, we never figured out who struck the deal. All I'm certain of is that the mead is delicious, and it never runs out, and drinking it has cost us our souls. Yes, we stay inside and drink. We have no souls. We were afraid to die in this godforsaken place. Nords without souls aren't welcome in Sovngarde, you know. The Thane does what he can to keep us happy, usually by opening another cask of meat. I've been fighting the craving, trying to find a way to break the spell. I want to save my father and the villagers if I can. As for my father, he was the flowers, not a one in the whole place. Can't be up here. By the old trees. I think I remember this quest now. How flippin' annoying it was. Out of
<laughs> you came back. I wasn't sure any of the flowers survived the trip here. Cold Harbor is a dead place, and Kain is concerned with living things. If you found the flowers, maybe she hasn't abandoned us. I hope I remember the recipe correctly. It's been so long since I tried to do anything more complicated than downing a mug of mead in one gulp. One more thing. There. That should do it. <laughs> Take the potion and pour it into the three casks. I need some mead. Oh. My Nell Hilda would thank you if she could. Oh, this is all my fault. I was just trying to save my failing business. Now look at us. These people used to respect me. I used to help them. What happened? I made a bargain, but I was tricked. I realized too late that the mage who promised to help me was likely a Daedric prince. After that, the flagon slipped into Cold Harbor and we've been trapped here ever since. It used to be me that people turned to for help. When Hout showed promise, I bought him a loot. When Freedy won a contest, I gave her dueling daggers. Nell Hilda has gotten things rolling with your help. I want to help her, help my friends. What do you want me to do? Hout and Freedy were admired in our village. If the enchantment is wearing off, they'll help me rally the others. It would help if Hout had his loot. And Freedy had her silver daggers. We can continue. Talk to Hout and Freedy. Perhaps they remember where they hid the loot and daggers. I used to sing for thanes and kings. I danced around and had many fine things. Oh, but... You're a curious one. I imagine the thane is keeping his eye on you. <coughs> Oh, you're angry. <laughs> How positively adorable. When last I saw my beloved Lut, I played a song for the lovely Juvelda. I struck a pose inspired by the statue outside her house, and I sang my heart out. That <laughs> You look familiar. I am a dangerous, dangerous woman. Even if I am too dull to do it. You will find it. Persistent little buggers, I'll give them that.
You knocked down an old man. I've had just about enough of this. I think everyone needs a drink. How about some more mead? We don't want any more mead. Get out of here. <laughs> your souls are mine. Sure, you may as well won't. drink up and accept We've your fate. We've been deceived. I want to hear you beg, or I'll cut off the supply of special blend. There you go. What just happened here? Did you see? I'll return these to Hridi and how I think he keeps the souls near. I appreciate you. vague memory I don't know what you did but something changed everyone can feel it I defeated the Thane and freed your souls then the curse is broken at last they'll hate me if they find out I caused the curse oh we've lost so much I need to make amends but what would the truth bring us except the more pain my Nell Hilda mourns for her beloved Gamerth I need to find a way to help her. Maybe you're right. Nell Hilda struggled to find the enchantment and she lost her beloved Gamerth. She deserves my honesty. I hope she can forgive me. Nell Hilda, please come here. What is it, father? To get this off my chest, I made the deal that doomed us. I made the bargain with the Daedric Prince. Father, why would you do such a thing? I lost my love to this cursed place because you weren't selling enough mead? How can I ever forgive you for this? I never want to see you again! Nell Hilda was the only thing that kept me sane in this dread place. What will I do now? I beg of you, daughter. Try to forgive me. What I did was a foolish mistake. I never imagined anyone else would be at risk. I don't know what to do. I'm so angry at him. And yet, my father is all I have left. 
Look what my father's selfishness has cost us. How could he have been so foolish? That's asking a lot of me. My father always seemed more... aware. I sometimes wondered if he knew more than he let on. But to have caused all of this suffering? My poor Gamerth. I know. I keep thinking about how kind he could be, always helping others. He did something terribly foolish, but I know he is not a bad man. I'll try to... We will go to the Hollow City. Some of the villagers may decide to stay here, where it's familiar, but that will be their choice. I agree for the lost, but it's not in a Nord's nature to just give up. Thank you for helping us. I think I can forgive you, Father, though it may take time. For now, it's best if we leave this place. Oh, my dear girl. I will do everything in my power to make this up to you and to the others. Listen, everyone. We're... Alright. <clears throat> I need to... First of all, get out of here. Now off to rescue Venice Galarian. First and foremost. Going down? Make that jump. <laughs> Village of the Lost, huh? I don't think I've ever done this. Very interesting. Stranger, I'm you. You're alive. Just what I need. Who are you? I'm Saroni, mayor of Silver Run, a small township in Vardenfell. Morlag Bull's servants tried to pull Silver Run into Cold Harbor. And now I'm stuck here. Two other towns founded by Khajiit and Orcs were taken as well. Perhaps I can help? You are most gracious. I would be grateful. You could rescue the Orcish and Khajiit leaders. They're all that's left of their villages. Tell them I have what we need to escape. They'll understand. You'll find Ubors in the Orc stronghold to the east, and Zurani in the Khajiit village in the west. Both were once flourishing townships, but no longer. They'll need help to escape. Not entirely sure myself. From what I've gleaned from the Daedra, this isn't Cold Harbor proper, but we're close enough as far as I'm concerned. I, I was simply referring to you. I and the other survivors have been hoping, praying for someone to come along and help us fight off our Daedric Tor. Uh -oh. I don't think I've ever done this. Jesus.
dungeon of fucking hell. Maridia, this one was worried he'd never find another living soul in this horrible place. Who are you? I am Mesadrol, follower of Maridia. Cold Harbor has been merging with choice regions of Tamriel, and this border realm alone has taken three villages, absorbed them through tears in space. My lady tasked me to hinder this. It's been difficult. Help, yes. There are three tears. Holes in the world where Tamriel is falling into oblivion. There is a tear in each village. This one can seal the tears. But fighting is beyond me. If you can handle the Daedra, this one might get some work done. I'll fight off the Dermora while you close the tears. Go. I will follow your lead. And deal no, with that's the tears not... we find. Them. All right, where am I going? Where exactly am I? Wait, am I? Hold on. I just need to fall? Hello? I mean... Still more there. Hello? You? Watch while I close this. Oh God, this guy is fucking tanky. Possibly deliver the whole village. Your village sits below a volcano. Volcanoes erupt with the right prodding. So, Macbeth is a traitor. He's turned on his own people for profit. Must have something to do with the Dunmer village getting pulled into oblivion. This one is glad to see even elves can make more life.
Vale, oh. Excellent. Now how do I get out of here? That was not part of our deal. Enjoy your gold. Did you hear that? That Khajiit doomed her own village. She's the reason it is here. hear what he said. Wait, did he just turn into a frog? <laughs> God damn it. I knew that would aggro people. Fuck. I'm not dying here. Fuck you, mage. First and foremost. Uh, okay, god damn it.
there was a person like you, but every day from the world. Oh. 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 Yes, I have. I definitely, most certainly have. My first rodeo to fight a danger or not. Not at all. Alright, so now... I just need to go over... To, um... First and foremost. I apparently can't mount in here. That's nice. Mages. Mages suck. I guess it's an orc. In the action okay you know what that that is some 
BS bullshit, and you know it. That's some BS bullshit, and you know it. in cold harbor stupid orcs and as too very good that is all of the tears this one is finally done with this nightmare scape of dremora and beautiful though terrifying bodies of water what happens now no more will be forced to this horrible place you have helped do a great thing now tamriel is safe safer Safe fish. Ah, until others make bad deals with Dramora. Oh, sometimes Mesadro weeps for the world. Mages.
What the fuck? Okay, you know what? Fuck that. I don't think there was anything that I could have done. Please go away. If the Taskmaster knows we've talked, he'll be furious. I couldn't intimidate him. Tempting, if I were an idiot. The Overseer stationed a Taskmaster here to keep me in line, and Cerrone wants me to risk his wrath? She should know better. She's seen the test. Told you I have no wish you killed her? Incredible.
up here, Sirani. Ask Master Rizil. It's time for your beatings. Ask Master Rizil. This one wants to believe you. Very well. I will meet you at the Overseer's Overlook. Just don't tell the Taskmaster. Almost free. Only one task remains. You must die. Be at ease. I'm fully aware of what you can do. That's why I'm not telling. I'm asking. Let me explain at least. I've secured a spell to get us out of this plane. However, in order to channel it, I require a sacrifice. And I'd like... I need it to be you. Time works differently in Daedric lands. I thank you. Thank you for your sacrifice, friend. I am fading. Tamriel is pulling me back. It has, friend, it has. You've given me and the others a chance to bring our story to Tamriel, and perhaps bring closure for our loved ones. You have my eternal gratitude. I only hope the Divines find a way to pay you back for your kindness. Now... Greetings. This magical projection presents my current plan to my allies. Separated and alone, I decided to complete our mission, personally. I entered the Black Forge through a side door with the intention of destroying the Great Shackle beyond. In case it needs to be said, the Black Forge creates all of Molagbal's vile weapons, including the Dark Anchors and the Great Shackle. With the Great Shackle destroyed, the threat of the Plane Meld should come to an end. No need to concern yourself. I'm sure I have this well in hand. I imagine I've already destroyed the Great Shackle, and even now we're celebrating our...
Oh, excuse me. Ow. Hurt pain. I need your assistance. What a ridiculous question. I am the Great Mage's essence of health. The Daedra captured Vanus. They planned to use him to power the Great Shackle. To prevent this, Vanus divided his essence into three fragments. Vampires feed upon this essence and weaken it. Kill the vampires and collect the energy they siphon from me. Restore that. When Vanus Galerion was captured, he cast a spell that divided him into his three essential essences. Health, Stamina, and Magicka. I am the Great Mage's health. Set e While we are the essences of the Great Mage, we aren't the Great Mage himself. Not exactly. Separated into fragments such as this, we are weak, vulnerable. It wasn't long before we, too, were bound in magical chains. The Great Mage is a virtual powerhouse of Magicka energy. The Daedra want to use that power. the time to reforge the essences of the great mage has arrived the essence before you has been used to feed the slaves and keep them working talk to the slaves and convince them to release my energy so that I can break free if the slaves refuse there is another way the slaves taskmaster used a device to rip away my energy the device can recover the energy but doing so will destroy the soul shriven you target However, the device only works from a distance. Get too close, and you can't target a slave. What can I tell you that you don't already know? Why aren't you listening? Escape? That's easy. Waiting for the right time to make your move? That's where the difficulty. And how will that help this one see the escape plan to fruition? Always with the violence! Your guys. I wish we could take longer breaks. And what will you give me in return? 
What do you have that will keep me whole and strong enough? No, oh, and how will that help me? No, this doesn't sound like... I wish... And what we... Oh, sir. Why? It... Oh, I hate this so-called existence. I think the more pertinent question... Oh, I hate... Not a chance. Well, in that case... Don't run off like that again, Alexis. Dear Alexis, why would I do such a thing? The energy makes me strong. Oh, Alexis! Four seals contain the magic that binds me to this machine. While this essence is locked in place, they siphon my energy into them. Vanus divided himself to prevent them from using his considerable energy. These bindings can no longer through the board.
Anymore, he doesn't. Turns. How I've missed you, old friend. Ah, oh, much better. Now, follow me out of this foul place. Then we can talk. Perhaps I shouldn't have attempted this by myself. Yes, the Great Shackle. Where the plain meld begins and ends. I thought I could deal with it on my own. But I was wrong. You have restored me, released me from captivity. With your continued help, we can end this threat once and for all. The time has come. The Great Shackle must be just Stay close and follow my every command. Taking down the Great Shackle. The primary conduit for the plane meld requires precision and the careful application of destructive spells. As it so happens, I am a master of destructive spells. This won't be easy. Is there anything else you want to add? What can I tell you that isn't obvious? The they want... Of course, he log walks really slow. The shackle real. sends metaphysical chains of energy across the planar chaos to latch onto our world. While the dark anchors have been able to pull portions of Nern into Cold Harbor, the great shackle has the power to steal our entire world. Barrier spell on the door? How pedestrian. Give me a moment and I'll open the way. I must be weaker than I thought. That took a lot out of me. Once we get inside, you take the lead. Serve my energy for dealing with the shackle. So I leave the hacking and slashing up to you.
what we're looking for. Very interesting. It appears to be similar to the cage I was imprisoned in at the Black Forge. Examine this pedestal and tell me what you make of it. No! What have you done? Oh, wait! You reverse the energy flow! Good work! Now go upstairs and find the other conference. Assuming this is where we're going next, I assume. This is the place where I help us, Soul Sherman. the help and I won't forget this. I'll return the favor one day. You can count on that. I thought I would rot in that cage forever. What an excellent idea. You can count on my help. I'll go find Vanus and prepare myself for battle. Someone needs to... And I need to bust some heads. So I'm going to help you with your mission. I'll find Vanus and ready my...
Meet again, fellow knight. Wonderful day to sally forth, wouldn't you say? How'd you get here? Oh, you know, a hidden path, the odd secret door, and Bob's your uncle. Here I am. Mm -mm. I heard you were going to attack the Great Shackle. That's a quest worthy of a knight of my stature. I never expected that. All right. I always love the Elder Scrolls Online um, uh, wallpaper. Uh, uh, what are they called? <laughs> Fan art. Wallpapers. Or um, art. Screenshots. I don't know what you call them. Let's move out. The Great Shackle isn't going to destroy itself, you know. Come at me, vile shackle. We're going to give you a damn good thrashing. Defend me while I cast this extremely powerful and fantastically impressive spell. <laughs> okay, let, let's see how fa fa fantastical it is. <laughs> Keep them off me. I have to concentrate, and even the least distraction would be disastrous. Yeah, let's see how fantastical it is. Okay, man. really old. You need what now? A spear up your butt? Because I can provide that for you. to watch a master such as I while I work. Oh, you're so full of yourself. Stop it. Yeah. 
The great shackle has been shattered. The threat of the flame meld is no more. Jolly good. And as soon as you deal with the plane of vortex, everything will be right as rain. What? Explain yourself, man. What planar vortex? The shackle formed a planar vortex, kind of like an oblivion straw that will suck Nern right through and into Cold Harbor. Quite amazing how I knew that. Enough! We can discuss this back in the Hollow City. I'll open a portal before this entire place collapses on top of us. We have accomplished great things this day, my faithful friend. Was there ever any doubt? Between your skills bit. and my formidable magical prowess, the destruction of the Shackle was a foregone conclusion. We aren't finished yet, however. Cadwell claims that we have more to do if we are to truly save Nern. I would love to explore this lost city, but apparently we still have much to do. This planar vortex that Cadwell describes concerns me greatly. Let's head inside and formulate a new plan to deal with this danger. If what Cadwell says is true, our job isn't finished here. And I'm positive we got the Daedric Prince's attention at the Shackle. He won't be too happy about what we did to his toys. That I need to consult with my colleagues in the Mages Guild. We need to gather whatever information we can on this planar vortex. Let the mages inside know that I'll be joining them in a moment. I need to finish with Cadwell and the groundskeeper first. You must be the person who rescued all these people. We were part of Varnus Galarian's group before. Well, before everything fell apart. We appreciate every- The four of us, yes. What? You've got to be kidding. I saw him being torn away. There's no way they'd let him live. You must have him mixed up with someone. There just isn't any- Ah, my old friend. I thought we'd lost you. What? It- So it can't good be. to see you all again, my friends. I'm glad we all made it here safely. Bonnie, you're alive. That's wonderful. Ah, oh, dear Nalia. My heart fills with the light at the sight of you. Yes, I am safe. Where have you been, old friend? Trying to win the war all by yourself again? Well, yes, but I ran into a bit of trouble. Our friend here showed up and lent me a hand. Well then, you have our thanks. I'm not sure we could have gone on without... without Vonis. Cheer up, dear Nalia. I'm here now. But our mission isn't finished. We have to destroy the plain air vortex and end the plane meld. Do you have a plan, old friend? I know what we need to do. I'm just not sure how we go about doing it. We need to discuss this with the Fighters Guild. We need a council of war. I can't even go up here, can I? Why must I I'm very curious if I can. And apparently I can't, I can't, no. <laughs> I figured as much. Is this quest anyways the anguish gem i'm just missing so i'm missing two quests that are 
the news of the fallen, and then the anguish gem. Which, honestly, matter of speaking, wouldn't be too difficult. Wouldn't be too difficult at all. Much. Ah, look around you. See how the people brighten the streets with their very presence. It is good to have this place. King Dinar and Varnus have begun to rally the troops. They have called for a council to meet here in the Hollow City. There are decisions to be made, plans to draw up. The time for war fast approaches, and we need to be ready. And there are others out there that need to be rescued? If anyone who can help us remains in Cold Harbor, I am not aware of their presence. If you still wish to explore, however, you are free to do so. You shall find the Aeliad King and the Mage inside the Cathedral. They await your arrival. Once you enter the Cathedral, the preparations for the final assault to save Nern will begin. Okay, so since I talk to her, I sh in theory, I should be able to get out of here. Probably not. Who am I kidding? No. Of course not. But I can't. So most of the quests that I need to do in the Hollow City are locked until I go to the... Okay, you know what? <laughs> Fine, I'll go talk to them. My God, I've been going out for three hours and 25 minutes. Welcome, friend. We need to discuss the preparations for the coming assault, but I wanted to wait until you arrived. Do you have any questions before we begin? We need to end the plane meld before Nern is destroyed. To do that, we must deal with the planar vortex. To reach the vortex, we need to cross the chasm and get through whatever defenses the Dark Lord throws at us. I fear battle is inevitable. Well said, friend. Uh, please, hold your... Attention, please. I have called you all here because the moment of destiny fast approaches. The great shackle has been destroyed, but not before a planar vortex was established. We must destroy this vortex before it sucks the very essences of Nern into Cold Harbor. The Fighters Guild shall deal with the Chasm's defenders, but blades have little power against magic. And that's where my... Our scouts report that some kind of magical fixtures block access to the path across the Chasm. Mages there already work on a way to overcome these fixtures, and we are prepared to lend our strength when the main force arrives. A sound plan. Plays to our unique strengths. But this one wonders, what if the mages can't overcome Molag Barl's magic? What a ridiculous question! Of course my mages can overcome this magic! Ah, magic, the solution to all life's problems. I love magic, it's so magical. I have absolute confidence in Vanus and his mages. Thank you, your lordship. But to be honest with you, I'm not feeling as confident as Vanus about this. We shall fight with all our strength. There is no other option. Lives will be lost, but hopefully a world will be saved. Know that the chasm is only the first stage of this battle. 
The planar vortex abides within the very heart of Molag Baal's lair. Oh, this just gets better and better. Darian, mind your tongue. Darian only seeks to lighten a tense situation. Still, we have to try. To do nothing is to doom Tamriel to certain destruction. Well, when you put it that way, there are a lot of lovely ladies that need to be saved. Yes, well, be that as it may, we launch our assault on the chasm immediately. The king needs to talk to the champion, and I must discuss some final details with the mages. The rest of you have your own preparations to see to, I'm sure. It is settled. We shall cross the chasm and make our way to the planar vortex at the heart of Molag Baal's realm. Now that you know the plan, I have a special request to make of you. I'm listening. This mission needs a leader. I want you to lead the assault across the chasm. We have asked so much of you, and you have already accomplished the impossible. But you are one of a very small few that I would trust with this task. God damn it! <laughs> of course my inventory is full. Hmm. Don't need this. Don't need this. What can I get rid of? Restoration shop. This... I knew we could count on you. You have never disappointed me. But there is so much left to do if we are going to win this war. Still, with you leading the charge, we have an excellent chance to end the plane meld and save our world. With the combined forces of the Fighters Guild and the Mages Guild, we must take the battle to Molog Bal and reach the portal to the planar vortex. It all stop. It is a narrow, well defended. I have. Uh, well, until that time comes, I will, uh, <laughs> I will pretty much do whatever needs to be done. But in the meantime, oh, yeah. So, uh, Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, guys. Um, 
Yeah. So in the meantime, well, uh, let's see. Let's do that. So we need to, well, first and foremost, um, so I th think I can access this little section right now. Finally, right? Right. Um, for the most part, I think we did everything that we needed to do. Um, we would need to get this guy shard. Get this guy shard, this guy shard, this guy shard. <laughs> I just need three, no, five sky shards. Where are the other sky shards? Let's see. One, two, three. Am I, am I missing one? Four. Oh, okay, five. Okay. Oh, the blue. Bloody hell do I get there? Anyways, I'm going to head it myself. I'm going to end the episode there before I take too long. Anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, guys. Make sure to leave a like and comment your thoughts down below. And, uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I And uh, I will catch you on the next one. Peace.